Hi all. In this lecture we will talk about windowing and analytics functions. In this lecture we will learn what is a window function and then we will be writing a window query using over clause. We will be using partition by clause and order by clause in our window query. So what is window functions? Window functions operate on a set of rows and return a single value for each row from the underlying query. The term window describes the set of rows on which the function operates. Now the question is how to differentiate window functions from other analytical and reporting functions and the answer is over clause. Over clause is used to differentiate between a window function and other analytical functions. The over clause has the following capabilities. First of all, it defines window partitions to form group of rows which is done by using partition by clause and then we order the rows within a partition using order by clause. So this is our data that we'll be working with. This data is about product. So we have category name, we have a product name and we have product price. Every category can contain multiple products and each product has got a product price. We will be working with this data in this lecture. So let's calculate average product price for all the categories by using average window function. So we can write a query like this. Select category name, product price, average of product price and we will be using a over, over clause here and we'll give a name to our column that is avg underscore price from products view. And this will return an output like this. So in the output we have category name, we have product price and we have average price for all the products. In this query, we haven't used any partition by clause in my over clause. So my window will contain all the records in the table. Now, if we use average function as a standard set function, it will only return one result for the entire group. So my, so my query will be select average of product price from products. This query will return only one row as an output. So the above query returns one row with the average of all the values in the specified column instead of returning values for each row. And this is the difference between a windowing function and other anal analytical functions. This is my Spark shell. So let's read the data first of all. For this lecture, we have products underscore sample data in HDFS, which is in JSON format. So I'll say, well, prod is equal to spark.read.json and I will be providing the path here. My path is user spark dataset retail underscore dv product sample. This is my data. Let's see some of the data now. Prod.show and give me five records. This is how the data looks like. We have category name, we have product name and we have product price. So first of all, let's create or replace a temp view. So I'll say prod.create or replace temp view and let's provide it a name. Let's say the name is products only. Okay. So let's write a window query here to calculate the average product price. For that, we can write a query spark.sql select select category name and select product price And we have to select average of product price, average of product price. And we have to use over clause here, over and let's give it a name avg underscore price. This is my column name. And we have to select this data from the view that we have created products. And this is my complete query. And let's do a show here. And let's say we are interested in 10 records. So this is my data. This is my final 
output result of the query i can and and we can clearly see that we have category name we have product price and then we have average price of all the products because we haven't specified any partition by clause here so that is why my window contains all the rows which are present in the table now if we write the same query using average function standard set function then let's see the output so we can say spark dot sql select average of product price avg underscore price from products dot show and if you see this query only returns one record it will only return one result for this entire group so this is the difference between windowing function and other analytical functions we can also use partition by and order by clause in a query let's see that so the partition by clause subdivides the window into partitions the order by clause defines the logical order of the rows within each partition so that means window function get applied to the rows within each partition and sorts the data within the partition only let's see the example let's use the same average fun window function with the partition by clause to determine the average product price for each category now let's write a query so i'll say spark.sql and because i have to write a query in multiple lines so i'll be using triple quotes here and i'll say select category underscore name product underscore price and average of product price average of product price over and this time i will say partition by category underscore name and let's give a name to this column i'll say avg underscore price so this time i'm saying partition by category name so the window will be for every category and i have to fetch this data from my view products this is my complete query and dot show and give me 10 records so here we can see that let's say we have a category training by sport and the average price is calculated on top of the two rows only because for category name training by sport we have two products so here the window is based on the category name so this shows that this shows how we can apply a partition by clause or how we can use a partition by clause in window query let's talk about order by clause now so let's say we want to sort the data based on the product price in descending order as well so let's write a query for that i'll say spark.sql my query starts select category underscore name product underscore price and average of product price over this time i'll say partition by category name and order by product price in descending order and let's give this column a name so i'm going to say avg underscore price this is the name fetch this data from products this is my complete query and dot show give me 10 records let's see the output now so this is my output again we have category name we have product price and we have average price but this product price is now sorted in descending order so if we see the category men's golf clubs we can see that the product price is sorted based on is is, is sorted in descending order 
So this is how we can use partition by and group by in a query using window functions. So we are done.